In this video, we have an interesting example. Here, we have three different types of objects in size, like small size, medium size, and large size. In this program, we have to identify the box size using the sensors. So let's see what is the given program. When push button one is pressed, then the supply command will be turned on. Okay. If push button one is released, then supply command will be turned off. That means whenever we press the push button one, that time only this robot will supply the a box on the conveyor. This robot will supply randomly different size boxes, either small size box or medium size box or large size box it will supply randomly but we have to identify the size of the box using sensors next when a start button is turned on then conveyor will move in forward direction okay if the start button is turned off then the conveyor will be off okay next as i said we have three sizes of boxes large medium and small there are three sensors if you see x0 x1 x2 upper sensor middle sensor lower sensor these are installed in vertical with the help of these sensors we have to identify the size of the box whenever we identify the size of the box there are three lamps available indicator lamps means large box size indication lamp, small box size indication lamp, medium box size indication lamp. Whenever the specific box size is identified, we have to turn on the specific lamp. If you identify the large box, then we have to turn on the a lamp which is related to large box like that. And we have to turn off this lamp whenever the box is passed the exit sensor which is x4 see this is the sensor which will detect the box is passing through the conveyor okay let's discuss how the sensors identify the box size okay with the help of this animation you can learn how the sensors identify the box size there are three sensors right one is lower sensor middle sensor and upper sensor total three sensors installed in vertical okay one by one one after one in vertical the addresses are upper sensor is x0 like x1 and x2 okay say for example there is a small box appeared as th these sensors are in vertical as this is only a small box only a lower sensor can detect it that means whenever the small box appears the lower sensor output is on what about middle and upper sensors there is no box before them so the outputs are off off when our small box is there only lower sensor is available before the box so only lower sensor is on remaining off off similarly if there is a medium size box before the box there are two sensors one is lower sensor and middle sensor that means for medium box lower sensor output is on again middle sensor output is on and what about upper sensor it is off because there is no box before the upper sensor similarly when there is a large box the lower sensor output is on middle sensor output is on upper sensor output is on see by using this pattern we can identify the box assume on as 1 and off as 0 so for small box it is 1 0 0 again for medium box 1 1 0 again for large box 1 
one one all sensors will be activated okay so by using this pattern we can identify the size of the box so let's go to the software so go to category d and d4 identifying the box size minimize this so click edit ladder first whenever we press push button one the robot has to supply a box here so take one envo contact enter x20 okay we have to connect it to the robot supply command which is y5 take one output coil enter y5 okay now the supplying part is completed the robot will supply different types of boxes randomly means small box large box medium box it will supply randomly whenever we give one command if we give one time command it will supply one box if you want two boxes you have to give two times you have to press the input button every time it will supply different types of boxes okay now we have to move the conveyor right so there is a start operation start button is already given here in the operation panel with address is x14 so whenever input x14 is on conveyor will be started so take one envo contact enter x14 click ok connect it to the conveyor conveyor address is y3 so click on coil connect it to y3 click ok now we have to identify the box size using the sensors so first we will write for large box for large box all sensors will be activated as we already discussed in the presentation so what are the sensors here x0 x1 x2 all sensors will be activated for large box so what i will do i will take envo contact enter x0 again take envo contact enter x1 again take envo contact enter x2 so what i did i taken all sensors in series and all are envo contacts because when large box appears all sensors are turning on and what now what i will do i will take on application instruction now i will use set instruction okay enter set space when the large box is identified we have to turn on the respect to indicator lamp if you see on the operation panel we have three lamps large medium small lamp l lamp indication for large box address is y10 so enter y10 okay now write for identifying the middle box when middle box appears middle sensor x1 and lower sensor x2 will be turned on right so upper sensor will not be at 2 so what i will do again for upper sensor which is not at 2 we have to take and see contact and upper sensor address is x0 okay now we have to take envo contact for remaining sensors x1 for middle sensor again envo contact for lower sensor again take application instruction again set respecto lamp which is y11 for medium box lamp y11 again for lower box upper sensor and middle sensor will be will not be active only lower sensor is active so the sensors which are not active we have to take and see contact for those sensors then only we can identify the 
box size x0 for upper sensor again for medium sensor x1 ok again for lower sensor we have to take NO only x2 take application instruction set respect to lamp which is y12 y12 now identifying the boxes are completed now whenever the box passes through this last exit sensor turn off the activated lamp so i have to take one falling edge instruction here because the lamp will be turned off whenever the box is passed from the sensor that means if box is before the sensor it will change from 0 to 1 whenever the box passes from the sensor it will again change from 1 to 0 1 to 0 means falling edge so i am taking falling edge address is sensor address is x4 okay now what i will do i have to reset the lamp so take application instruction type rst space first i will reset the large indicator lamp large box indicator lamp y10 okay similarly we have to reset the remaining two lamps you can take output branch here take vertical line okay here take again application instruction type rst space what you are going to reset the lamp y11 similarly again take vertical instruction okay click here and again select application instruction again reset the last lamp which is y12 so my program is completed so we will test it now first convert and then write to plc okay okay if i press push button one one time press and release okay i entered x20 as the address but the push button one in this simulation is x10 so we have to change it click edit ladder double click x10 okay convert right to plc okay so click on push button one so one time you press the push button one robot is supplied a box turn on the conveyor x14 i am turning on input x14 see again i am repeating it see now it is a medium box only two sensors will be on right medium box again i am giving a command you can see the status here now it is a small box so this is a simple animation for identifying the object size using three sensors installed in vertical direction one by one see large box is coming all sensors will be added to this one set is happened again reset will be happened after box is passing from the sensor practice this logic this is very an interesting topic i will meet you in the next session